Speaking in Port Moresby, the serving member says he has written to the Finance and Treasury Department for a statement regarding the withdrawal of 8 million kina from the Misima Future Generation Trust account. He is unsure and wants to know who pushed for the withdrawal of funds and to which landowner group or beneficiaries. MP Leonard claims known individuals have conspired with banks and relevant government departments. How did they manage to draw those funds out from Treasury? Who authorized the payout? Because I was never engaged. I was never informed and I never signed an instrument to allow for the payout of the 10 million kina. According to MP Leonard, earlier this week a team from Finance and Treasury visited the landowners and paid portions to a new trust account. This is for the 64 recipients from the initial mine agreement and benefits. However, a court order is in place and restrains banks from allowing any transaction. He is concerned as to why laws are not followed and believes a breach in the process. I need them to provide me statements, bank statements, as to how much money was drawn down. I need to find out actually who authorized the payout, payout who signed for the drawdown of the funds, who signed for it. I need to know that and I need to do further investigation into this fund. A similar payment was done in 2012, which MRDC paid it to rightful land owners and trustees. The money was to finance locals and establish forms of investment for future generations. The current open member says from the payment, there is nothing visible in regard to that same benefit. Up till now, there is nothing to show for on the ground. There is nothing. And these are the same people who are now being appointed to be trustees of a new trust. And this is the last money, that 8 million kina. It is the money of the 64 recipients. MP Leonard says upon receiving replies from Treasury and Finance, further investigation will be done in consultation with police. Jack Lapave Jr., National MTV News.